Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this week's video, can I just say my original idea for this week fell through because I was waiting for a parcel to arrive that technically should be here by now but isn't but this video was inspired by the fact another parcel arrived and I was like, oh, video ideas. Hope you guys enjoyed. As you can tell by the title, this week I'm sharing with you guys my eyeshadow palettes collection because I have somehow amassed quite a collection and as you will soon see, a lot of the palettes are the same. Um, but that just means that I love these color combinations. Um, so I have quite a variety of palettes from uh, several different brands and yeah, I just want to share with you guys what I own, some of my favorites, do some swatches and yeah, let's just dive right in. So let's start with the two palettes that inspired this week's video, one of which I am wearing on my eyes right now, and that is the Feel the Heat Mixtape by Designer Brands. This is part of their holiday collection and is limited edition, so make sure you guys um, go check out the entire collection. There's actually another palette like this as well. It's called Ice Ice Baby. This is a neutral, this is a warm tone uh, brown nude neutral palette and the ice ice baby one is um cool tone and i just used this for the first time tonight doing my eyes i was very very surprised because as you will see uh, very very soon i own quite a few designer brands palettes and i feel like they just get better and better with each palette that they bring out these are actually really pigmented really blendable um i only used a couple of shades i'm using um mainly this one at the bottom here which is called Summer Secret um, and it is so beautiful I really do recommend checking out uh, this palette if you went um, into um, warm browns the other uh, designer brands one that I just got today I haven't had a chance to try it out yet is the Jump for Jupiter 9 shadow palette um, there's three in the holiday collection. One is a Mercury one and one is a Neptune one. Again, it is very similar to the palette I just showed you, um, because, like, that's why I picked it. I even, when I was checking out with these products, I was like, I don't need both palettes, but then I was like, but I do. So this is actually, like, a really nice looking palette, which is obviously why I got it. I just swatched the three. I don't know if it's going to come up the three shimmers I don't know how good that is because I can't see um, but they look really nice continuing on the designer brands train I will just point out before I show two of these to you that they were limited edition a lot of the palettes that designer brands do now are limited edition so these aren't available anymore but that's all right so this one is the paparazzi palette um, this is once again a uh, uh, a nudes palette. This is sort of got your traditional like browns and sort of your more pinky tones. Um, as you can probably see, I've used these ones more. I do want to try and use some more of like the pinks and like the reds, but I just I always have to turn back to uh, to the nudes. But this is a really good palette. I definitely feel like just after using the um, mixtape palette. It's definitely, I can definitely see like the, um, the formula has improved because this is like the first big palette that I've got from Designer Brands. I think it was one of the first big palettes that they did like this. Um, and I mean, it's really, really nice. It's really good for just simple everyday looks. Um, but I definitely feel like the newer palette is pig more pigmented than this. Uh, but yeah, this is just a nice palette. Then I have the Day to Night palette. This was in collaboration with Sophie Katcha. I think that's how you say her name. Um, this only just finished being finished being in stock, um, and it looks like this. And I've, uh, this is only a more recent edition. This was a free gift with some purchases I made, um, and um, I haven't really played around with much. I will say though, there is four. Four of the shimmer shades in here um, are very much Hogwarts houses. Um, I mean, look at that. I'm never good with swatches. I'm so sorry, guys. This is a nice palette. I want to play around with it more just because it has those colors in it, and I definitely want to play around with color more. Um, and this has just been a good palette to kind of test the waters with that. 
finally finishing the designer brands um, portion of this uh, collection is one of the eyeshadow quads that they brought out. I don't know if they still have um, these quads anymore. Um, as you can see, it's just pretty much the same as anything else I got. I don't really use this much anymore, um, but I really do because it's four really nice shades that I do, I would like really use. I need to like keep it out so I'd use it. Going on now to my Maybelline shadow collection. I've only got three. I feel like I should have more. I've definitely been eyeing off uh, some of the newer Maybelline palettes. They aren't yet to come out in Australia though. There's the Lemonade and the Soda Pop ones. Um, but I have been slowly collecting the Nudes collection by um, Maybelline. These were like my first real proper dabble into like the nudes colors um so first off you have so first off you have like the original nudes which are very looking at it now um I don't know they're just kind of not as appealing anymore they're very sort of I feel like they're showing up a little bit more cool tone um there's definitely some warm colors in here like obviously that gold is like very standout but overall these are very cool tones which i'm not against i definitely use this palette a lot back when i got it and i will still like use it occasionally if i just want a bit of color sometimes when i'm filming videos and i can't really be bothered doing a lot of makeup and i just need a bit of color i will use this but yeah, I feel like it's a really good basic palette and I also love on the back of all of the nudes palettes they have different ways of uh, wearing it, which colours to use, whether you go with which quads go together, which du which trios go together and which uh, duos go together. Um, I then followed that up with the blushed nudes and as I said, I haven't really dabbled too much into more of the pinky tone nudes because I worry that I'm going to make it look like I have a black eye. And I've been punched or I have a disease. But this is also a really nice palette. In particular, I like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but this sort of black colour at the end here has kind of um, some red shimmer to it, like a coppery sort of shimmer to it. Um, but again, I haven't really used it this, I haven't really used this that much. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's blurred on the screen, but you guys will deal with that. I haven't really used it much. Um, I've found that since using some of these other shadows that I will be showing you, I don't find it as pigmented as I like, but they're still really, really nice. I can't really fault um, Maybelline because they're still really good shadows. It's just that when you've used different brands that maybe are a little bit better quality, you kind of feel that these are lacking. So the palette that I've used the least from the Maybelline Nudes collection is the Rocked Nudes. Um, again, because it's got a bit of colour in it that I'm not always keen to use, but also because it's very cool toned. It's very smoky eye, cool toned, and I'm not always after a look like that. Um, I also sort of found with this one, when you apply it and then you blend it, you kind of lose a lot of colour. There's a bit of fallout in it. Um, but I don't know, I definitely I definitely want to come back and keep using this palette. It's just because it's never shades that I turn to. Um, and if I've got like some similar shades in other palettes, I'll go to them first. Here's a bit of a blast from the past for me. This is like my OG everyday, used to, like I wore, I used it so much I've hit pan on two of the shadows and I've not done that with any other shadow that I'm showing you guys. And this is the um, Avon palette, eight in one, not so neutral. Um, pretty sure that Avon doesn't have this anymore. It's been forever since I've used an Avon palette. Uh, my mum used to do Avon, which is why I had, uh, I used to actually have a lot of Avon palettes. This, as you can see, I've hit pan on these two. This is just a really nice, um, um, I suppose just really nice base color, I suppose. It's a just a, plain colour and this is a that's kind of a goldy shade this is more of a copper and that's a darker brown and then these are more of your cool tones which I didn't use at all I don't think I think I only use like these two a little bit but otherwise yeah I used to use these all the time which I think these this is the palette that really sparked me to go and get all of these other warm tone palettes that I have because I was in love with the shades in this one Next is um, 
Tanya Burr, Tanya Burr Cosmetics Hollywood Eye Palette. I was on Feel Unique last year I think it was I was getting some of Zoe's jelly and gelato range and I was like oh they have Tanya Burr cosmetics on here I'll get something and I think this was part of one of the reduced ones um, so I picked up this one because you know it's that color combination so there's um, it's got like a neutral a gold shimmer a sort of more browny gold dark shimmer and then a brown matte and I was really excited to use this, but I found that this actually has so much fallout. And again, when you put it on and you blend, it, you just literally blend it away. And I'm really like upset about that because I thought this would be really good. Um, I definitely want to try and get some more of Tanya's products. I'm pretty sure they're re-releasing a whole bunch of new products soon. Um, but it just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, which I'm a little bit dis disappointed about. It's not terrible that I'm never going to use it in saying that I haven't used it for a while simply because the way I've stored it is like in a place where I don't, like the way I've, where I've stored it, I, it's very much out of sight, out of mind. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not the best. And I had not high, high expectations, but I at least thought it would be better because Tanya's like used her products in looks before and I don't know. Maybe I need to play around with it a little bit more. Maybe I didn't give it enough chance. Who knows? Um, so the next two products, next two palettes, I got locally at a market where there are these uh, this couple that sells makeup products and they sell a lot of like high-end brands cheaper. Not necessarily cheap cheap, but just cheaper. And I feel like in the case of one of these palettes, it's definitely a fake. And I can tell that because the outside of it, this is the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I'm pretty sure from what I've seen in photos, um, this is meant to be all raised lettering and this isn't. So I'm pretty sure this is a fake palette. But in saying that, I feel like the colors are pretty close um, to what they're meant to be. And also the brush just isn't good quality. Um, and I feel like, not that I've used an Ever Decay product before, but I definitely think um, they're a little bit more high quality than they are. But that's what it looks like. I've not used it too much. I think it's because it's the more, it's very warm, it's very, like corally and I'm not always in the mood for something like that. I do though really really like um, this shade here which um, looks like that if it's going to focus. It's just a really nice peachy colour. Um, but yeah I've been slowly playing around with this palette more. I've had it for a while now. Um, but yeah I definitely think this is a knockoff. Which I'm not mad about. I should have expected that. Um, and I mean, the quality is still pretty good. I feel like I need to get a, maybe not necessarily a Naked Heat palette, but just one of the Naked palettes to just really see if I am truly missing out on something like really, really amazing. Um, but I'm just really happy to have this, whether it's real or not. The other could be possibly um, a knockoff, but I'm not and not entirely sure because every time I've looked into it, I'm just, I don't know. And that is a Kylie palette. This is the bronze palette. So it looks like that. Every time I've looked online for this, it looks like this. And again, I haven't actually bought like from a, like a proper Kylie palette to be able to see. I feel like with Kylie's products from what I've heard, some of them can be a little bit iffy sort of as she's gone on, they've improved, but then some haven't been as good quality. So I'm not entirely sure if this is a proper Kylie palette, but I do feel like the colors are pretty close anyway to what I've seen online. I've used this, I say quite a bit, you can't really tell. Um, it is a really nice palette to use. I've not used it as much as I should, again, because where I've stored it is out of sight, out of mind. Um, but it's definitely been a fun one to play with, especially when I got it. I was really excited to play around with it, and I definitely need to go back and uh, play around with it a little bit more. But yeah, whether this is real or not, I don't really care. I feel like it's probably real, but I'm not entirely sure. The next palette is, like, I think the first major palette that I ever bought. And, like, I was very excited to own this because it's a pretty good brand, and the, like, it's 120 pot palette and it wasn't even that expensive um, and just oh I was so excited I used this quite a lot until I discovered that I really love browns and I started buying all the rest of these ones but and that is the Coastal Scents 120 palette number one I think there's like three 120 palettes this is kind of the more matte every single color palettes um, so hopefully I can hold this up without literally dropping them um, so it's got the 
two trays in it. This is the one I've just pulled out. Um, and it's literally got every single colour you could ever want. And I have loved using this palette because every time I used to use it, I would do a look with a different colour. I'd mainly stick to just using one colour at a time because when I first got this palette, I wasn't really 100% like into mixing colours. Um, you know, I'd obviously go with like yellow and your oranges sort of thing, but that was as far as like the mixing went. Um, and actually I created a really awesome rainbow look once that I loved. I loved how it turned out. Like I it was the first time I think I went on, I went onto YouTube and watched tutorial on how to get like a proper rainbow. And it was like the first time I tried something so out of my comfort zone and something, and I tried something that could really mess up. And I tried it for the first time, like when I actually had to go out for the evening and wear it. Um, but I loved it. And it's definitely a palette, like it sits there next to all the rest of my makeup, like I can see it, it's in sight. I'm always like, I want to try using this more, um, I just never do. Um, but this, it makes me want to incorporate more colour into my eyeshadow look, it's just whenever I think about it, I'm never in the mindset to do it, or I never really know what I want to do. But this is such a really great palette, and I seriously recommend that if you aren't big on makeup or if you know someone who is just getting started in makeup this is a really good palette to start with because it's super affordable the, the shadows are pretty good there's a mix of matte and shimmers in here um, and there's like a re actually like this really good mix of matte and shimmers you guys probably can't see on here um, but it's just a really great palette it's got every color you could ever imagine you could nearly create any look you could ever want on here and now that I'm showing this to you guys, I really want to start using it more. Hopefully I will. I feel like now that the summer's coming up, I'll definitely try and use it a little bit more. So we're on to the final brand, well nearly the final brand um, of uh, eyeshadow that I have. And before I actually get into the palettes, I want to share with you some single colour pots. Um, if you guys know me, if you follow me, you will probably know what this brand is. And that is Colourpop. I have quite a number of the Super Shock um, Super Shock Shadow Pots. Um, actually recently bought some new ones and I love them. Um, I will say I've been using these pots to do uh, my lash line underneath while I still have like my nude eye but yeah just love these. So I have, I feel like I should swatch them but maybe I won't. So I have um, a special delivery which is this really nice uh, shimmer green it's kind of yeah just a shimmery sort of green and the one I really love I mean what I love about Colourpop in general is that they have really nice um, pigmented products but their super shocks are like very pigmented next one here is Cornelius which is a little bit old because it's got a crack in it um, but it's just a really nice nude brown. I've kind of decided with Super Shocks. When I first bought like my first collection of Super Shocks, I got kind of colors that I genuinely wear. And the reason why I haven't used them is because they are just everyday colors. And I've just kind of decided going forward that any Super Shocks I get will be like bright, bold colors because I think it's just more fun that way. This one is Snap. Dragon, and I am just swatching them on my arms. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. It's just a really nice pastely green. Then one of my favorite shades, I think, is this one called Jinxy. It's this gold shimmer sort of shade. I used to use this so much as like a base. It's just a very nice basic sort of goldy shimmer sort of thing. I don't really know. I'm not a makeup artist. I can't like describe shadows. This is probably my favorite. It is Zoom Ship. It is this beautiful, like, blue. It's like, oh, so pretty. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I've used this shadow quite a lot. Next is probably one of my favorite Super Shock colors. And that's not because of the color itself, although it is a nice color, but that's just because of the name. And that is Kennedy, which is a bit old. Um, and a little bit dry, which I'm kind of annoyed about, but it's just sort of nice peachy sort of color focus, um, which isn't going to show up because it's a little bit dried out. It works fine if you wet the brush and use it, um, but it's just this really nice like corally color, corally peach kind of thing. Then we have Running Through Six, which is this gorgeous green, um, emeraldy sort of color, and this was actually part of Colourpop's sixth birthday um, 
collection of Super Shock shadows. I mean, look at that. It is so beautiful. So pigmented. Um, then we have Daddy, which is this really nice lavender. Um, as you can see, like, like most of my Super Shocks, especially the newer ones, are uh, more colourful because, as I say, much rather just have like a single pot of really bright colour. This next one is called Crimper and it's this really nice gold. It's a shimmer shade, but it's got like sort of chunks of glitter in it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Then we have 8 Track, which is this really dark shimmer shade. Um, this one is, the formula on this one is ridiculous. It's like really creamy. Um, but it's kind of like a, like a brassy color, I might, I would say. And I've just realized most of this is out of focus, but I mean, you ain't come into this channel for a beauty guru. Then the last one is Bandit. Um, and it is this really nice chocolate color. Which, oh, it is literally light. So like working backwards, you can sort of see like what all of the shades look like. That one there is that Kennedy shade which as I said is a little bit dried up um, but I really love this blue and even this green color is really nice and then yeah they're just all so pretty finally onto my actual ColourPop palettes um, as I said I love ColourPop I want to get every single palette they've ever released they are so beautiful they are really pigmented they blend so beautifully they just oh I love the formula so the first palette is the yes please palette which was the first ever ColourPop palette I ever got and I love it so much it's this beautiful um, very warm very summery palette in particular actually I don't know if you can tell but this is a gold that is gorgeous um i mainly love like pairing these two colors here this brown and this gold together mixing in like a little bit of these two i've recently started incorporating this uh this what would you call that um ready orangey color in and i really want to start playing with that yellow um the yellow is so beautiful and so pigmented Plus these colors up here are really nice. Just this whole palette is just gorgeous and I love it so much. Then kind of similar to that one but a little bit more on less on like the really bright red and yellow but still warm tone is the double entendre palette um, which I've kind of now turned to more. I was using the Yes Please palette so much but when I acquired this one I kind of turned to it more just because it hasn't got the really red undertones. It's yeah, it's a warm palette. It's not as warm, but it's not cold either. Um, again, I really love just using this brown with this really, really dark, um, dark brown here to smoke it out. Um, and also this shimmer and this shimmer here are both really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, not much more I can say about that one. It's just really, really beautiful. Then I started, I've started to go a little bit more out there with the palettes I've picked up. I next got the My Little Pony palette. I wasn't going to get this one, but it was on clearance. I don't think they have any of the My Little Pony range left, and I was like, I have to get it. I mean, I'm not like the biggest My Little Pony geek, but it's just a really fun palette anyway. Um, and it looks like this. Um, so it, obviously it's a bit more like wacky and out there and creative. I haven't really used it too much. I really do love these two shades here. This one, yes, this one is a holographic shade and I didn't realize that until I wore it one time and I like put it like on the corner and sort of just like in the crease a little bit. I think I've just rubbed color on my eye, sort of like in this part here, thinking it was just a really nice um, bright pop, but it was holographic and actually looked really good. I definitely think if you pair that over a dark shade, it'll look really good. This bluey, greeny, tealy color is also really nice that I've played around with. Other than that, I haven't really used this palette too much. Again, just because the colors are a little bit out there. And I mean, you can create like a complete look with this palette. I've seen people do it, but I'm just not at that point at the moment. Uh, but it is just a really nice palette. I'm glad I have it. Finally, the most recent ColourPop um, acquisition 
is the Zodiac palette. This is the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collaboration. When I saw this, I had to get it. When I went to buy it, it was out of stock. I waited for the restock and I was so excited. Um, actually, the whole uh, Zodiac collection looks really, really good, but I just had to get the, um, the, the eyeshadow one. And what I firstly love is there's a mirror in this palette, but that's what it looks like. Again, it's... A, you know it's very colorful but it's a little bit more I don't know they all go together I love that the Virgo one is this brown I'm a Virgo and that's like my favorite brown really dark brown that they've released I also this one I've definitely played around with more I really enjoyed using this purple um and um I've kind of played around with the uh the Pisces one this bluey teal I don't know it's just a really nice palette I haven't had it like I've had it for a while but not long enough to sort of really play around with it um, I'm still sticking to my comfort zones of like the browns but it's a really fun palette and I'm excited to keep using it and to play around and to incorporate those colors a little bit more so that is my eyeshadow palette collection I hope you guys enjoyed if there is any um, any colors in any of these palettes that you guys actually want to see swatches of let me know because I might do some swatches and post them over on my Instagram um, or on Twitter or something like that just let me know if there's something you do want to swatch or your if you want to know my thoughts on any of the palettes I've used most of them um, obviously as I said there were some that I haven't used quite enough to really get an opinion on but if you would like to know more about my thoughts on any of them, just let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. It was very last minute. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sun is setting. Thank God for daylight savings. Otherwise, I would not be able to film at a quarter to seven in the evening. I really have to go put my dinner on. Okay, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.